How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkill and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Now we're going to continue exploring Driftwood. I think the next stop is Mortis's house. We really need to find some lockpicks though. Or buy some lockpicks or something. An elf in tattered red robes shifts through pages of handwritten notes spread across the table. So many suspects. So many potential culprits. I need to narrow down the list. Think you damn elf. Think. A floorboard creaks beneath your foot. The elf leaps around abruptly. What are you doing lizard? Trying to get the drop on me? Sneak up and slit my throat? Of course not. Why would you think such a thing? Can't trust anyone, especially the likes of you, and especially what's been going on. Demand that he explain what he means by the likes of you. You know what I mean, you vile serpent. Now leave me be. My Magister comrades are missing, and I'm gonna find them. Note that the ruined red clothing, and say that it doesn't look much like a Magister. I was removed from their ranks due to my elven blood. I'll continue to serve, though. I won't stand to see my comrades taken by some vile traitor. What do you know about these disappearances? Three Magisters vanished so far, all within Driftwood. My comrades believe some tinkerer named Higba is behind it all, but they're wrong. I'm certain of it. What well, makes him so certain that Higba isn't responsible? He might be a greedy little junk peddler and a sorcerer to boot, but hardly capable of seizing Magisters. If he's so certain Higber isn't the culprit, he should inform the investigating magisters. They... they won't listen to me. Not anymore. Guess that he intends to try and solve the disappearances himself, then. The elf nods, stoically. Exactly! I'm convinced that this tavern holds the key. It's full of scum and degenerates. The true culprit could easily hide amongst them. I have to keep investigating, keep the pressure up. The culprit will make a mistake eventually. If you see anything suspicious, let me know. I'll keep an eye out. You do that. Now away with you. You should probably talk to me a bit more fucking nicely though. Asshole. In here you reckon. Yeah, we'll come back in here. Later. We got so much to t so many people to talk to, so much to do. Alexander, you're dead. You have to stay dead until we say you're not dead anymore. Here, mister. Alexander doesn't have to stay dead, does he? Hey, are you a lizard? Tell the child that you are indeed kin. Whoa. Cool. I think you look weird. That's not very nice. <laughs> Tell Alexander you very much hope he stays dead. See? Told ya. But don't worry. I'll revenge your death. Take that, sorcerer. You won't put a sauce collar on me, Dallas. I'm a big, bad, evil sorcerer, and I'll kill you dead. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. You guys are mean. Can we go in here? Can we just smash the door? Oh, there's a way on this side. The dwarf is unnaturally still. You might mistake her for a corpse, were it not for a slight twitch of her eyelids. Call out to her. She calmly opens her left eye, then her right. What do you want? Inform her of your visit with Loha. You need help to get through the hatch. The dwarf unfolds her arms and shoots to her feet. All right, lizard. Right glad Loha ain't left us here to wither. Those brutes are taking their sweet time down there. I gotta send word soon. Ask what her partners hope to find below. Who knows? Anything that gives away what Mordus has been up to. Probably got all sorts of tricks for covering his tracks, but the goons downstairs should sniff out something. Ask more about Mordus. That weird priest's been hanging around Loha for ages. Now he's vanished. Those half-wits below will know more. Alright, do you have lockpicks? I gotta find someone with lockpicks. Get to it then. But tell the lunkheads that Glenn has sent you before they bash your brains in. Yeah, okay. I'm not worried. Alright, what do we got? Shadow over driftwood. What's this? I found something. Where? Ah. Thanks, Ifan. There we go. The door's open. By Duna's dagger. You here to free us or kill us? Inform them that Loha sent you. 
The male dwarf expels two lungfuls of air and glances happily at his companion. We've only been fretting here for a few hours, but it's felt like days. That snot-nosed priest's as slippery as a snake in an oil drum. Ain't found nothing that lets on what Morris is up to. Only thing we managed were to close that door and get us stuck. And if there's another door out there, never could find it. No, I ain't gonna be pleased. This Mortis, what is he up to? Where's he gone? Ain't no telling where that priest has gone to. Started acting all funny not so long ago, then flew the coop. Acting funny? What do you mean? Well, at first, he was just buddying around with Lohar and the rest, you know. But then he'd start looking all sickly and run off for a day or two. Then some stranger tried taking old Lohar down, but got himself caught and tied up. Ain't no coincidence Mordus went hanging around then. She taps her finger against her forehead. A woman knows things. Nothing's getting past me. Best we head off then. We've got business to attend to. Alright, we better start exploring this place and see what we can find. Because you guys are obviously fucking hopeless. We'll see what we can find. I've spotted something. What do we got here? It's locked though. A uh, skull. It's missing an eye. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. Okay, we need to find an eye for that, I guess, so that we can open it. See what we can find? Guess we're going in here, where they were locked in. Painting. Chew toy. Book. Books are always handy. Uh, okay. That one's not very interesting. Not very helpful, must admit. Ooh, what do we got here? Empty potion bottles. Laboratory stuff. Ooh, unidentified amulet. Better check that out. Losa. 30 magic armor, plus one warfare, plus one summoning. Oh, that could be good on you. There you go. Alright, let's see what else we can find around here. Careful now. Oh shit. Well, this won't do. If I can get stuck, then I can get unstuck. Sure, we're not worried. Dirty socks and a shawl. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna have to pass. Why am I controlling Irfan again? I don't know how that keeps happening. How do I keep switching to him? Oh, what is this? The shrine depicts Duna, yet has clearly seen better days. Scratches and fissures deface its exterior, and its eyes have been gouged hollow. Touch the shrine. The stone is cold against your palm. If this figure once held power, it has since been depleted. Kneel and pray. You scrape your knee on the wooden floor. Nothing else happens. Okay. How are we going to get out of here? Get over here. Move these crates. Letter to Mortis. Here we go. What does that say? You're a lucky man. Your failure to assassinate Loha could have been ruinous. Yet our lord proves his grace by not only sparing you, but granting you more Akim. The ritual requires an excessive release of source, but I'm sure you're anxious to prove your allegiance. Use it wisely. Your order remains the same. See that the weapons from the Peacemaker reach arcs unharmed. I'll await their arrival. And do be careful. There are a number of god workers who have escaped the fort. Should they pass through Driftwood en route to the Meister, be sure they pass no further. Loha. We want to know of this. That doesn't actually help us get out though, unfortunately. Alright, did we get anything else? Oh, we got a schematic. What is that? Operation by a button on the statue's back. This statue. You run your hands along the exterior ah. until your fingers graze the button noted in the schematic. Okay, that was weird looking. Press the button. There's no mistaking the sound of stone chafing stone. The entrance to the chamber grinds open, filling your lungs with slightly less stale air. Alright, thank god we finally got out of there. 
Could not figure that one out for the life of me, but we're done down here, I think. Although we didn't find mortars. Ain't no rest for any Yeah, okay. Alright, what else have we got to do around here? This place is so huge. There's magisters out here. Oh shit, we probably shouldn't go that way. We'll end up having to kill them. Which I don't really care about, but... Shouldn't probably kill them right now, when we got other things to do. Magister Benson? Alright, what is this place? Oh dear. I don't care if we tear this place apart plank by plank. We will find him. Hi. You've been warned, Barnes. Now, get back to your fish. The Magister turns, and his eyes fall on you. What in the seven hells is a lizard doing here? Shouldn't you be in your empire, or stretched out on a rock in the sun? Smile and say you choose a warm rock over a damp hole any day. The Magister bristles. For a moment his hand twitches towards his sword, but he thinks better of it. I'm looking for someone, fork tongue. Grey cloak, grey beard, acting suspiciously. Perhaps you've seen him. Tell the Magister you haven't seen anyone suspicious. Blast! Well, if you do see anything odd, report it immediately. There is a foul creature lurking in one of these shadows, and we will find him. Raise an eyebrow. Who are they looking for, exactly? A sorcerer. He arrived dressed as a tinkerer. But then Magister started disappearing. As soon as we asked him about it, he fled. Who knows what he's done with our divine brothers. Ask how he's sure the tinkerer is responsible. He was seen with the effects of one of our company. Not only was he behind her disappearance, he brazenly flaunted it in the tavern. We chased him to this factory, but lost him on the docks. Now, I have a patrol to complete. If you see anything, tell me. Okay. Whatever. Void tainted crimson bream. So void, ta void tainted fish everywhere. Oi! You look the kind of ruffian who can keep a secret. Fancy a good time. Head downstairs in the Blackpool Tavern. Tell the lummox blocking the way that Blathen gave you the tip off. Oh, I had to pay him to get in, goddammit. Grisha's still the favourite. The dwarf peers at an expertly dissected fish, gently poking its innards with his knife. Fascinating. Most fascinating. Mm. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? Note that the silly tone in his voice seems a little forced. What's it to you? It's plain to see he's up to something, and it isn't fishmongering. The dwarf grimaces and points the tip of his knife at his handiwork. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. I want to figure out what's happening to them. See if there's anything that can be done. Ask if he needs help. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand, if you understand me. All right, fine. Wonderful. Now, there's three samples that I wish to learn more about. Care to choose? Now uh, we'll go with the red fish. The fish instantly churns your insides. Everything turns black. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there with you. Something. Hungry and corrupt. You can't breathe. You can't. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at you with fascination. How do you feel? A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. He doesn't even look displeased. <laughs> Catch your breath and say you saw things, terrible things you can't even describe. I see. Well, I'm sure it was nothing but a side effect of the fish. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I owe you a great debt. What did you learn? The dwarf puffs up his chest and proudly gestures to the fish. The fish is indeed malignant. Lizards are affected by it in the same manner as other species. Say so that you're willing to try another if the reward is increased to match your efforts? Thank you, but no. I only <laughs> allow for one specimen per volunteer, or my findings could become flawed. The fish you ate is known as Crimson Bream, quite a fast, vicious breed. It's often used in the creation of ferocity mixtures. But those use regular specimens, not this kind. Who is to say what might happen if you brewed a ferocity mixture with a crimson bream that's been touched by the void itself? The effects could be quite potent. Seek out somewhere that peddles ferocity herb mixes, but make an addition. One of these, um, unique breams. So, 
Now my work must continue, as soon as I've got in my quota of fish, of course. Farewell, stranger. Yeah, okay. I just fucking made myself sick over this, but whatever. We're not in battle, so it'll cool down quick. Uh, if in, talk to the dog. The dog sniffs the wooden decking, like there's something wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong, and it's not right. Ask the dog what it's doing. I don't know, but there's something wrong, and it's underneath the floor. Tell the dog you investigate if you can. Be careful down there, mister. You're not smelling what I'm smelling. Okay. Under the floor. I'm not sure how to get under the floor. Oh there, lizard. Reach for a weapon and I'll see you gutted, filleted and pickled. Now, I'm looking for someone. I haven't seen him. Of course him. you haven't. Your kind would never rat out a sorcerer, would you? If I find you're hiding him from me, I'll cut off bits that won't grow back. If you see anything suspicious, report it immediately, skink. Understand? Always, always happy to help the law. He glares at you before stomping off, resuming his patrol. <laughs> ass. Fucking ass. Go fuck yourself. Sideways. Hmm, got a door here. This place is disgusting and full of stinky ass poofish. I hate stinky poofish. Look at the size of that motherfucker! Jesus! This thing's fucking huge! The fish wished it had been the one that got away. Ha. Huh. Stinky ass poofish. Fucking hell, this place is enormous. Hmm? What? You be needing something from me, lad? Ain't much inclined to rub elbows with lizards if you catch me drift. The attitude is rather short-sighted. Best to stand together in times like these. Ain't no one been standing together since Lucian died. Ain't been no goodwill among your kind or mine or anyone else's since the Reds have been in charge. Wink and whisper, you're not exactly a fan of the Magisters either. Glad to hear you say it. The day will come we'll overthrow them, you mark my words. Until then, I'll practice the art of gutting on spoiled fish. Do you know anything about this fugitive the Magisters are looking for? Fugitive? Ah, yeah. I don't think that's something I should be discussing with strangers. Tell him it's very clear he dislikes the Magisters, so why not discuss an enemy of the Magisters? Because I don't intend to end up with me lips stitched together, that's why. No, no, I shan't be baited. I ain't saying nothing on the topic no more. Stare him hard in the eyes and say you can always beat it out of him. Gods be buggered fine. I'll tell. I'll tell you all I know. Go on then. The dwarf leans in and begins whispering conspiratorially. This fella runs along, right? Sweating, panicking. Red's resting after him like hunting hounds. Hide in a barrel, you fool, I yelled. And what do you know? He did. Problem is, he's still in there. Been hours. Can't go nowhere, he can't. Not with the Reds around. He's in a barrel. Alright, let's go check some barrels. Hopefully we can find him. One of these disgusting fucking barrels over here. They said they lost him on the docks, so... Not those ones. Alright. This one. This one's not full of fish, at least. Alright. This one? That's a crate, not a barrel, I suppose, but... Oh, look, he's right there. Higba. Is he in one of these barrels? He must be. Alright, we got you. Behind the containers, the fish in one of the barrels shifts slightly. Please, you have to help me. The Magisters have gone mad. wonder if this is the man the Magisters are hunting. I don't know what they're talking about. I have nothing to do with the missing Magisters. 
I'm just a tinkerer. I wouldn't hurt an imp. And now they want to execute me. Please, you have to help me. I have to get out. What do you need us to do? I just need to get out of Driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Ox. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Lucian. Seven times divine. Thank you. I'll follow your lead. But please, be careful. If the Magisters see me, I'm done for. Well, the problem is, I'm not very good at sneaking. So most likely we're going to have to kill our way through. We could turn him in, but I'm not going to do that. Just fuck the Magisters. They're assholes. Oh shit. You. you found him. Excellent. Now, stand aside. Guess we're gonna have to kill this foe. The Magister steps forward with a smile and draws his weapon. What? what? No, you said you'd help. You promised. You promised you'd get me out. I'll get you out. Draw your weapon and step between the Magister and the Tinkerer. You've been aching to thrash a Magister all day. Actually, we've killed quite a few. You utter fool. Very well, if you want to share his cause, then you'll share his fate. Really? You're alone? You're gonna fight us? One versus what? Four? Are you fucking crazy? Oh, he's a mage. Interesting. Eat lightning, sack ass. Sack ass. I don't know where that came from. He's pretty strong, but there's only one of them. So, I'm not too worried. Ah, yeah, fan. You have to stand in the worst position, right? You doorknob. Alright, what do we got? Can first aid heal anyone? It does look like it can heal anyone. That's pretty cool. Conjure an incarnate for us. Thank you. Alright, now go chameleon. Incarnate. Get this foe. Nice. Alright, Losa. Try and kill him without killing everybody in your path. If at all possible. Is that got an AoE? It looks like it only hits enemies though. Set chilled status on characters in the area. That must work on our guys as well, I assume. Don't really want to do that. Hmm. Drop a fireball, but that's going to hurt everyone. Yeah, that'll do. Boom! Get wrecked. Rupture tendons. Kinda wanna rupture your tendons. Our turn, is it? Good. He's pretty strong though, I must admit. Tentacle Lash. That tore his armor apart. Okay, his arm's gone. He's trying to recover his armor again. I don't think that's going to work out for him in the end though. To be honest. If in. Shoot this fool. Okay, we're looking fine and dandy, I'm not too concerned. Drop a chill on him. Puts the fire out. Now there's just lightning all under his feet. That's cool. 
Yeah, that's gonna hurt everyone. Let's teleport him. No? Oh, we can't teleport him. That's- Oh, because he's fortified. Well, that's fucking annoying. Ass. You ass. Nice. Lay into him. This dude is strong, though. Like, there's five of us beating on this guy, and he ain't dead. That's crazy. Turn him into a chicken. Boom! Eat chicken. <laughs> That's just funny, because he's a chicken. Dog. Alright, loot his ass. Let's go. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta save this fool. Come on, guys. Alright, what's the quickest way out of here without getting spotted? I mean, I could just kill anything in my path, but realistically, I don't want to have to. So, north is that way. So, it looks like the west bridge is probably our best bet. This way? Oh wait, that's full of magisters. Fuck. Well, it's only two source hounds and two magisters. I say we take him out. Alright, bedroll. These dogs have got some mad fucking vision. Alright, we'll kill our way through these t four dudes. And then he'll be safe. We'll get him out. Oh wow, you're a summoner as well, huh? It's very weak though. Very weak indeed. Oh, I should have summoned myself. My bad. First thing I should have done is put that summon down. Alright, Losa. You're up. And seeing they're far away, we can really, really detonate their asses. Move up one AP worth. And drop a fireball in this group. Boom, bitch. Nice. That's how we do. Now drop it in carriage. And those source hounds have no protection against magic. None whatsoever. We can move up that far for zero AP. That's cool. Can we get a backstab in? Oh, we're so close. You cereal? You fucking cereal right now? Oh, that should totally do it, but it doesn't. It doesn't make it. Backstab. Asshole. Drop a sleep on this source hound. Night, night. And then we'll drop a haste on ourselves. Dude, you got a crossbow on your back? That's pretty gnarly. Gnarly. That's a, that's a that's an interesting word. Don't know where that came from. Nice. Now just move up. We want to tank these bitches. And you're our new ally friend, who we're saving. So, you're pretty much expected to help at this point, because, you know, we're here helping you. That's why we're killing Magisters in the first place. Boom! Nice. Eat fire damage, asshole! <coughs> Another summon, eh? Ow! That just ripped our armor to pieces. Fuck, it's your turn again? Dude. Get turns like nobody's business. That's crazy. Creates an oil puddle. Dude, that'll just detonate. I'm gonna drop that. Yeah, have this. Nice.
Lysa, you need to heal yourself. You're getting fucking smashed out there. Getting smashed. We could drop a first aid. Let's summon an incarnate, first of all. This one's got low armor, so we'll smack him first. Or her, whatever, doesn't matter. I don't really care if you're a him or a her. You're gonna die all the same. Where's that dog going? Alright, Losa. We drop the new heal. We'll drop the new heal on ourselves, because that'll heal them too. Wow, that's so good. That is so good. Where'd that other dog go? Detonate his ass. Boom! Alright, Sabeel. Rupture tendons! Oh, that's such a nasty move. There you go, you guys are fucked now. You got nothing left to give. Tentacle lash. Very good. I wish we were immune to fire because we're a lizard. I feel like we should be immune to fire. We're not, but I want to be. And I don't understand why I'm not. It's frustrating. Move up a little. Drop this knockdown. It won't knock him down, but it'll rip apart his armor a bit. That's always good. And drop a fire on this guy. Keep that shit burning. He's gonna summon again. A blood totem. Okay, he's bringing totems out this time. Cool, cool. Get up there and count it. Fuck him up. Oh yeah, I forgot there's still a dog there. You have four health left. Can't you just be dead, you asshole? Now you're dead. I'll get rid of that too. Oh fuck, Lois is hurt. Like real hurt. Drop a first aid on her. She should be healing every turn anyway as well. Barrage. Maybe we'll drop a barrage. Try and tear apart some of this fucking armor. This guy, mainly. Oh, I didn't see you. I forgot about you. Alright, drop another heal on yourself. Really? It's got one health left, you piece of shit totem. You piece of shit. You dirty sack of dicks. This guy's got too much armor. Way too much armor. Oh, that's not gonna quite reach. That sucks. Oh well. We'll take it. Oh, Sabeel's down. That guy's not fucking around. And he keeps summoning things. I thought you could only have one summon at a time. You got summons up the ass out there. Kill this fucking dog already. Oh shit, I shocked all my own friends too. Oh well, you know what? I don't actually care that much. Cluster grenade, go! Fuck! That's awesome. That is awesome. Kill that. Kill that. Alright, Losa. Kill the dog. Good. Good. That means progress. Womp.
Looks like it's Atin, huh? Knock him down. Alright, you're dead, dude. You're dead. Your armor's gone, you're just hanging on by a thread now. Nuke him. Good work, everyone. Very nice work. Better loot some corpses, yo. Looting some corpses. Hot bar's full. You know, we're good. We're tasty. Alright, I think you're free, dude. I think you're free, my dude. You met me as a lone wolf. At last. But did I ever I tell you of my again. past in the Divine At last. World? I was sure I'd die in that wretched place. You have my thanks. If not for you, I probably would have been found, gutted, and salted. Why are you in a barrel again? That's very strange. Why do you climb back into the barrel? I can't just saunter away. Who knows what might be lurking in a place like this? But once I'm sure the way's clear, I'm running to Ox like a cat with its tail on fire. I'm done with this stinking town. That's great, but you were hoping he might have something for you. Oh, of course. Here. This is the most powerful scroll that I have. And the one that caused all the trouble in the first place. Take it. I hope I'll never see its like again. Why did the Magister react so strongly to you having the scroll? It must have belonged to one of their mission friends. They nearly lynched me then and there. They wouldn't listen when I tried to tell them that I got it from the cook. The cook? I thought she was an idiot selling it so cheap. Then again, I'm the dolt who ended up in a barrel. <laughs> but if she has Magister artifacts, she must be the one they're looking for. We'll have a word with this cook. I swear, once I get to Ox, I'm going to have the bath of my life. Yeah, you smell like fish ass. Fish ass. Stinky fish ass. Alright. Two-handed axe, that's not very useful. Magical chain armor, that's a finesse-based piece of a gear. That's an intelligence-based piece of gear. And then there's a sword. Which doesn't actually look very good compared to our our Hanel Lechet. And a two-handed axe. Because we don't use two-handed, so that's no use to us. Uh, finesse gear or intelligence gear? I guess we'll grab the finesse gear because we use more finesse than anything else. Because we have two finesse based characters. And we'll see who that's good for. Let's start with Sibyl because she is the close range fighter. It is good for you. And then that one's probably better for you. The hand me down. Have a hand me down. <clears throat> and looks like we need to talk to Ifan. Ifan looks uneasy. Even Hangdog. Ever tell you I worked with Lucian? Fact is, I was once pretty high up in his divine order. He was a good man. An order man? Tell him he's a two-faced sham and outlaw? Like hell, if Ifan remember Ask Ifan if he remembers the ordeals you went through in Fort Joy. Trust me. Today's divine order has nothing to do with Lucian's. Everything, everything started to go downhill during the war, right after my last mission. He closes his eyes as he speaks, forehead creasing with effort. You know sacrifices had to be made during the war? Well, Lucian knew he needed to use Death Fog to eliminate the Black Ring. But doing that would... would kill the elves also. So he came up with a plan. I was to hurry through the forests with a rift portal for the elves, so they could escape before the Death Fog exploded. But something went wrong. I was too late. The death fog exploded just as I arrived, and the the elves were were. Why did Lucian not wait? That's something I want an answer to myself. You tried. Trying isn't enough, and I won't rest until I know why Lucian didn't wait. Anyway, let's keep moving. There's no gains to be had wallowing in the past. All right. Well, we got a lot more to do still in town, even though. We're causing a lot of carnage in town, to be fair, but there's still more to be done. We need to go back and talk to that elf, uh, the dwarf guy. We need to talk to that cook. Something just leveled us up, and we got a thing on strange cargo. Who knows, who knows. We're going to go head to the bar, and we'll wrap the episode up there, I suppose. 
We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty tasty. There's so much to do in this town, it's crazy. Crazy. Alright, well, we got some stuff done. We'll continue exploring the town and hopefully finding more information in the next one. We haven't been in here yet either. Fuck, man. Alright, <laughs> until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.